the places that I would go to get parts. Okay, so I'm going to talk about four different type of locations, right? One of them is the, um, you know, like the traditional stores. One of them is the online store. One of them is the um, social media stores. And then lastly, um, junkyards. Okay, so for us, most of everything we want to buy, when it comes to pads, rotors, brakes, spark plugs, you know, the, the common stuff that, that you want new. Like, like you, you don't want any of these used because, let's, if, let's face it, when it comes to the liquids, when it comes to the lights, when it comes to all the stuff, buying it used, you're spending money that you're not guaranteed how long it's going to last. You buy from here, for the most part, they're, they're new, so, right? So, so a, essentially, they should be lasting for a few years, if not more. Granted, sometimes they have, you know, faults to them. But but for the most part, you know that they're new and you know that you can bring it back to the store if there's any problem. And the stores I'm talking about are the advanced auto parts, right? The auto zones, the O'Reilly's, and then there are two others. There, there's the Napa and then there's the consumer auto parts. So let me talk about these first two. So the advanced auto parts and the auto zone. I like these the most because they're everywhere. I mean, there's literally like, four or five of each of these in my city alone, right? So that means if I don't, if they have parts, if I ha I need the part and I can't find it in one store, there's a high chance I'll find it in the other stores. So these websites will help me f tell me which store carries it and then what if I need to order it, you know, online. The cool things about these two is that, and I believe O'Reilly has the same thing too, actually. Um, but, but I use these two the most because every time you spend $20 or more, you get points, and after five points, five orders, right, um, you get $20 off of your next purchase, which means, you know, you need the parts anyway, so it's irrelevant if you buy from here or there, but if you buy from one place and you get the credits, that's $20 off. That could be your oil. That could be your filters. That could be a lot of things, you know what I mean? $20 is $20. It's a saving times the amount of times the amount of parts that you need. So for the common stuff, I love these two places. Now, I like O'Reilly's for, for a specific purpose. They have the same stuff as the others. Sometimes they don't, but but for the most part, they do. Um, the only gotcha is that they're not available. Like, there's only two in my city, and they're a substantial ride to get to. But what is really awesome is that they have parts that the other ones don't, which are, um, right off the bat, water pump, thermostat, um, alternators, you know, like like the more higher end stuff, you know, that's the kind of stuff that you have to order from AutoZone or Advanced Auto Part, and it'll come, you know, a day or two. But but that just meant that that that's a day or two that you have to wait. In a lot of situations, I would actually check the part, find out that it's actually sitting on the shelf, and I'd call them, tell them to hold it for me, and within 20 minutes, I'm there. I get the part, I order, I come back and it's already in my car within a few hours, you know? So, so that's what I like about O'Reilly. So I'm hoping that they, they will crop up more places and I'm hoping that they'll have more variety. The only gotcha to that is, is yes, they have the parts, but they tend to be a little bit more expensive. So if you need the part today, you know, I, there's no other way, right? So, so you, you got to pay for, for what you want. Okay. Uh, for the other two, for the Napa and the Consumer Auto Parts, I don't use them as much because they're in the same boat as O'Reilly. They're far and few in my area, so I don't want to guess to see if they have the parts or not. I'd rather go to the ones that do, and then worst case scenario, check these guys out when I can't find the parts. So that's the first phase. That's that's the you know the um, regular brick and mortar stores that you can go and check out. Okay. So the next batch, believe it or not, is is the online stores, right? Right. So, um, everyone thinks eBay sells used parts, and then for 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 some cases they do, as you can see there, they sell used parts, but they actually sell new parts as well, and and, and on a lot of occasions I found new parts cheaper and more readily available than anywhere else. Right now. There is a catch. There, the, there's two, a few catches. One is that um, some of it may be from China, 
which means that the quality may not be as great. But let's be honest, a lot of parts come from China. So, you know, it, it, it's hit or miss, right? And then the other part is is that it takes a while to get to. Three days at minimum, seven days or more. So so there is a, a longer wait, and that, that that's what frustrates me sometimes by buying eBay. But if it's hard to find the part and you found it here, you know, it is what it is, right? Hopefully it's not an essential part that you need. And it's something that you can still drive and then get the part and, and put it in afterwards. I find that 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 um, when you want to find bits and pieces, you know, of of, uh, of cars, uh, the plastic pieces, you know, the cowl, the 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 wheel well, stuff like that, they they actually have a decent amount in here, dirt cheap. So so I have to say that, you know, and e even the pins. I mean, let's be honest, a hundred pins for two dollars. Come on, you. you you can't find it anywhere else, even that close of a price. Even if we're with the four dollar tax, for example. But once again, as you can see, where is it coming from? All right. The next bit, which is a bit surprising for me when I first started to, um, you know, fix cars, is that Amazon has a lot of stuff. Um, I love them for like like the stuff that I would look for, even from the advanced auto parts and AutoZone and stuff like that. I look for the wiring, I look for the brakes, I look for the, you know. Um, I normally want to hit those guys first because A, I can walk up to the store, get it, come home, and install it. But if I can, right, I'll get it from these guys. Water pumps, thermostat, as you can see, right? I mean, I mean like, like I, I in one of my videos, I replaced the, uh, you know, rear view mirror. I mean, that... This is pretty cheap, but actually, believe it or not, eBay is even cheaper. Anyway, you get the point, you know. Check the other places, but don't hesitate to check eBay. Don't hesitate to ch check Amazon. You'd find that, that you might actually find the pieces that you want. And the cool thing about it is if it's prime, within a few days, it's at your house. You're not searching for it. You're not driving around everywhere. It'll come to you, okay? And then last but not least, there's a decent amount of online stores that you could buy from. But I actually like Parts Geeks a lot. I bought a decent amount of stuff through them. They're usually my third wave of, of searches, right? So, so I'll, I'll, I'll do the uh, Advanced Auto Parts, AutoZone, O'Reilly first, and then I'll do the eBay and Amazon, and then I'll, I'll come here for the specific parts because sometimes they carry it better than the others. They're cheaper. And for me, they're usually three to four days before it comes to the house. But for big stuff, you know, it, it, it's worth it to me. Now, it's up to you. You just got to figure out what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Okay? But but I, I have to at least showcase that, that these guys were pretty good to me. So I, I, I want to be good to them and, and share it with you guys. Okay. The next part are, are the, you know, the, the social media, the local places. Like, for example... Craigslist, right? I mean, there's a decent amount of stuff in here. I mean, there's a lot of junk in here, too, so, you know, it's hit or miss. But if you are if you have a list of stuff you need, you scour, you know, Craigslist, you'd be surprised of, of who has what. Either they're, they're fixing their own Z3, Z4, or they have extra parts that they didn't use. Like, granted, if you take a look into my garage, you'll find that I have probably 20 or 30 pieces that I bought that I realized I didn't need afterwards because I figure out a way to fix it. Eventually, I'll probably put it online either in Facebook or, or in, in um, Craigslist to, to share it back to you guys because it sitting on my shelf doesn't do much for me. However, it's helping you with your projects. Hey, maybe, maybe we can help each other out. You know what I mean? So look in here. You'd, you'd be shocked of, of the parts that's new. Also, um, the parts that are used, but, but people are just breaking it, right? And then lastly, this is where I get the best prices for wheels, right? So right here, you see it, it, this set, it's 330 right? Which is, to me, on the high side, honestly. But if you look around, you'll find that, nah, that that's crazy price. Come on, guys. Um, if you keep looking, you'll find that some, some places, some people, they have so many wheels, so many wheel sets that they're offloading it. I've seen stuff for 250. I bought a set for 200. I bought a set for 150. I bought a set for 100. Come on, four wheels, steel wheels, like like you know, good quality. A little bit of scrapes here or there, but four good wheels for 100. That's 25 bucks a pop. I mean that that's 
insanely cheap, and you won't, hands down, you won't find that anywhere else. All right? It's just not possible. But if you look here, you'll find it. All right. So the second one is the um, Facebook Marketplace. Um, there's a lot of Z3, Z4 enthusiasts in here that are in groups, that are sharing with each other, that we're helping each other out. However, there are still a decent amount of BMW enthusiasts that aren't part of those groups that are willing to sell stuff. I mean, think about it. You can get Z4 parts, Z3 parts, for a fraction of the price from anyone else, right? The cool thing about Facebook versus Craigslist is that you know who, who's selling. You can see the name. You can see the background. They know who you are, so there's no guesswork of, of who's who, right? And... and, and after talking to them, after checking out with the stuff, chances are you may find the stuff that you need. Very similar to Craigslist is, is that just because you need it doesn't mean that it will show up as, as a sale item, right? So it takes time. It takes patience, right? So so this is where I would get the best, like the best rate, hands down, right? And it's like everything else, like all the advanced auto parts, all of the Amazon, all of the Facebook, there is no perfect medium. There's no perfect website that is cheap. You can go to get and, and you know, it, it, it's quality. That There's none. So you got to do your homework on which one works best for you in your area. All right. And then last but not least, I, I find these to be the most important and, and um, best gems that, that, that I've scouted across. So this is carparts.com, right? What this place is, is it's a website that searches all of the um, salvage yard and junkyards, the ones that you can't walk into, right? right? So, so you normally check to see your area, find out the ones that, that are, are available. You call them up, you tell them the car model, and you tell them the parts that you need, and they, they'll give you a pricing. Well, guess what? You have to do that for every individual one of them, right? This website searches them all. So, for example, I plug in 2003 Z4, and I'm looking for a headlight assembly, right? I'm looking for the right one. I don't care, right, left, Xeon, non-Xeon. But the point of the matter is, is, is you'll find out who's selling. You find out where they are. You find out their phone number so you can call them directly. You can chat with them or you can email them and go, well, you know, you guys have it for this price. Uh, if I were to bundle it, would it be cheaper if I buy more parts? You know, because because these are the people that 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 you would call up to find out anyway. But now you've got a way to do a comparison between, say, that guy versus this guy. Well, this guy is only 125. Let me talk to this guy, right? It's a lot better than calling up, figuring out what's going on, and then start figuring out for yourself on, you know, what works, what not. And and the cool thing is that some of them actually will show you pictures of their parts, their cars. So there shouldn't be a surprise of what you're going to get when you get it. The only other thing is the you know, internally is if you connect it in and there's a problem here or there. But but at least here is that you can find out pricing and you can see pictures right off the bat. Okay. Now, I love this. This is row 52. It's the same exact thing to salvage yard and junkyards. The only difference is, is this searches the places that you can walk into. So, so I love, um, you know, pick and pulls. All right. I, I love it when, when like, like in my area, there's like three or four of them. So I, I search on a regular basis to find Z3s and Z4s. I can never find Z4s, by the way. I can find Z3s though. And, and what I can do is, is I can search for it and go, okay, let me go in. Let me take a look to see what it looks like. And then I schedule my time to come to the location and then start picking the parts. Prices wise, they're much cheaper than the you know like the, the uh, salvage yards that um, that are full price. Uh, they're not full price, but let's be honest, they're almost full price. Um, so that's the reason why I love these. And plus, you can go and walk around, make sure you the part that you are looking for is the part that you're looking for, right? You can take it apart out of the car, so you know how to take it apart. So that way it'll make it easier for you to put it back in when, when you, you bring it home to your house, right? Now, one of the cool things is, is, as you can see, I made it list from all the locations. What that means is, is when I travel for work, when I travel for fun, and I have 
a few hours of spending time, right? I can actually, let's say, for example, I'm going to go to Dallas or I'm going to go to, you know, North Carolina, right? I can actually schedule a time and then come here, look through for fun, maybe maybe even lucky get the parts that I want, as long as it's small enough to pack up and bring home. And voila, I now have more parts that is dirt cheap um, available to me. Now, the reasons why I'm showing you guys all of this, you know, the first three are the four more common places that you guys would look. The reason why I'm showing you guys these is because there are plastic parts. There are parts that, that you may need that these guys are selling pennies on a dollar. A lot better than you buying net new. A lot better than you buying off of anybody else. And it, it's, it's, it's just yet another way for you guys to get the parts that you need at the price that is beneficial to you, at least it's beneficial to me. And then that means that your road is your car is on the road, your car has all the parts that it needs, and it's all good. So so I'm sharing with you guys. There's a lot more that I'm not, you know, that 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 I haven't covered. So if you guys have other sites that you love and that you want to share with the community, um, just you know Put the information in my comment section so that way anyone else who watches this video reads the comment will get your insights as well. So I'll, at the end of the day, guys, I'm hoping that I can share with you, you can share with me, and that we can grow the Z3, Z4 community, you know, bigger and bigger, right? All right? That's all I have for this. I'll talk to you guys.